So silence in the row. Of, oh, and Colombia is in first position, followed by Chile, Italy, France. Then we see Argentina, and the Belgians are in the last position. And it's right away a fast pace. And there's Gwenda Lepiver for France, looking so, back over his shoulder to the Italian guy. Hey man, what are you doing? So Elton de Souza will finish for France. Pedro Calcio for Colombia. So now the Belgians are in the lead. Here is Bart Swings. Bart Swings, multiple world champion. He is in the lead. And he wants a fast pace because he is not the fastest guy around. And we see them all together now. Bart Swings is pushing Tim Chibiet. And the only job for Tim Chibiet is staying in the peloton. So Matthias Foste and Bart Swings can finish it off. Yeah, and, and there a is a big battle for the second and third position in Italy on the outside. And we see Tim Chibiet pushing Matthias Foste now. Italy in the lead. Argentina in third. And Colombia is on the outside now. But with Edwin Estrada, who already took a medal in the 500 meter. Yeah, it's hard to keep your position. We saw Colombia in the back, and now they're up front, followed by the Italian guy, Daniel Nero. He is a fast guy. And they, these guys will finish the race. There we see Elton de Souza and Bart Swings. And there's the next relay. Oh, and we have a crash. Argentina is out of the race. Ooh. With only five countries left, Italy, Colombia, Belgium, France, and Chile. Yeah, and then here's the next relay with the board on eight. So Argentina is still in the race, but they have a big gap and they will never come back. We see Italy in front, followed by Frenchman, Wendell Lippifer. And there is Colombia, Matthias Foster is not yet Lippifer. And they're up to the next relay. Yeah, we see Daniel Nero now in front. The little guy from Italy with a big result already, silver and a bronze medal. Bart swings on the outside. Oh, and the pace is already so fast, they're skating so fast, and they go to the next relay. And it's just six laps to go, six laps to go. Italy, Colombia, then followed by the France, Belgium, and Chinese Taipei. So we see these guys one more time. Only five laps to go now. We see Italy in front with Giuseppe Bramante. Yeah, five laps to go. Italy up front, followed by France. And then we see big Edwin de Estrada. He goes to the outside and he takes a second position behind France. Yeah, Gwendol Lepiver took over from Giza Bramante. We see Elton de Souza now in front. Pedro Caucil behind him. And then a gap to Daniel Nero, Bart Swings, and the guy from Chile. But the first two countries, France and Colombia, they have a gap, they have a small back. Can the rest of the group come back to the first guys, or will France and Colombia battle for the victory? But there is Italy. Italy is closing the gap, followed by Chile and Belgium. Yeah, and everything is coming back now with France in first position. But we have now Gwendolyn Lepiver, Edwin Estrada, and Gisette Romante from Italy. Matthias Foste in last position, Verdugo from Chile in fourth. Only one and all left to go. Will it be France, Colombia or Italy? Yeah, one left to go. We hear the bell and it's France. No, it's Colombia in the lead. Colombia in the lead. And Elton de Souza wants to go to the outside, but he's not passing the Colombian guy. It's Elton de Souza in second position. Oh, and Italy is passed in third position. Will it be France? Will it be oh! Colombia? Will it be France? It's France! Ooh, what a close finish and what a good performance from the French guy. He is so happy. Elton de Souza took the victory for France. Wow. Gold medal for France. And Daniel Nero came close. Yeah, I think the fastest lap of this race was the last lap from Daniel Nero. He was close in the gap, but he was too late. But he took the bronze medal for Italy. We yeah. see here the last lap. Look at Daniel Nero. Look at Daniel Nero. Look at the gap he had. And on the finish line, he is close to this guy. Look here. He had an amazing last lap. But Alton de Souza managed to pass the Colombian skater. 
Yeah, but it's always different to chase a to chase another skater instead of leading. Yeah, the Colombian guy and the French guy battled for the first position, and Daniel Nero came back, but he was too late. And you saw the Elton de Souza from France building up on the outside, so he could pick up more speed than Pedro Cao still on the inside, and I think that was the difference.